Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. So this is yet another Ashton Drake Galleries bridal doll. This is number four in a series of four dolls. Um, the first one was from the 1900s. Then the second one was supposed to be from the 1930s. 19, number three was 1960s. Now this is 1990s. All four of these dolls came out in the mid-1990s. I want to say it was like 1994. Um, and the idea is that they're a collection and each doll is the daughter of the previous doll and uses the previous doll's wedding dress but alters it to fit into the time period she is in. So um, this one is, I believe this is Lisa is supposed to be her name. Her grandmother was Elizabeth and then it was Betty and then Beth. Now we have Lisa. So she has her bouquet here still stapled inside. I'll take that out here in a minute. And yeah, it looks very similar actually to Grandma's dress. It really does. Can she just come out? Yep, she's going to come right out. And she's on a stand. So this is interesting. The first, the first two dolls came on a stand. The second doll had a stand um, in the box that you had to assemble. And then now this doll's back on a stand. Alrighty, so we're going to take her padding off for Tootsies. All of these dolls have their shoes painted on. And these are porcelain dolls with a soft, soft um, body and partially soft legs and arms. Here are her shoes. Just simple pumps. And then she still has the bloomers. Which, I don't know, would you wear bloomers in 1990? I, I, I think you would not. <laughs> That's a little weird. So she's on a saddle stand, so it's kind of making her pants kind of right up weird. But that, that strikes me as odd. I, I just don't see that happening. Um, yeah. All right, let's take off her padding for her hands. These dolls are 20 inches tall, so they're pretty good size. Her name's Lisa. Um, they each come with a certificate of authenticity, and they're numbered. So here's supposed to be what she looks like. She definitely has um, a, uh, oh God, what is her name from England? Princess Diana. That's what I was She's definitely got a Princess Diana feel. And I will say the dress, even though it's interesting, it does look a lot like the Victorian dress that I will show you all the dolls here at the end, by the way, together so you can kind of compare them all. But I did have friends that dress, that uh, got married in the 90s. Actually, no, my friend, it was more of the 80s, now that I say that. And anyway, back then... You, you had the over, you had this sort of look. This is to me, you know, when I say this, yes, I guess it's Princess Diane, but wouldn't that be the 80s? I don't know. This feels like more 80s to me than 90s, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely off. Uh, let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. They each come with a personal hang tag. So here's Lisa's hang tag and, you know, the information. So yeah, 1995, this came out. All right, let's take her plastic bag off of her head. Let's be I don't want to mess her hair up. And they have little, so she has pearls around the neck, her earrings. Need to relax a little bit. So she also has blue eyes, so that's interesting. Um, all of them, except for the first one, have blue eyes. The first one has, the other one, the one from 1900 says brown eyes. They're inset eyes with painted eyelashes. She's got a long train. Whoa, and it's coming off. Get on there, girl. Okay, so her hair's in a bun, and then this just goes around the bun. That's actually kind of a good idea. And she's blonde. The other ones have dark hair. So, I don't know, maybe she's maybe it's a dye job. <laughs> all right. They all have their hair up, which is interesting. But I guess that's a bridal thing. 
and let's see so she has also the train hers has bows on it with pearls and let's see and the scallop they all have the scallop finish with the satin and hers has instead of some of them have roses hers has have the uh, pink bows um yeah okay there she is let's look at the back real quick what's the the back you know this is actually boy this looks very you know this looks very 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 similar um let me pull this camera up a little bit and get better this looks so similar guys to the 19 1900s one really this whole back part except for the the, the 1900s one has pink roses and she's got pink bows, but otherwise this looks the same. This part looks the same. Uh, kind of same a little, a little disappointed that there's not something a little bit more different. All right, so let me get all the dolls together in a row and we can take a look at them. You know what, first let me just put her up. We'll take a look at her and then I'll put the dolls all together. All right, hold on. So here's a picture, again, I like to show the picture of what she's supposed to look like compared to the reality. And again, she's holding the bouquet with both hands, but there's no physical way to get her to do this because there's no articulation in these dolls. If you were, like here you can feel that's where the porcelain ends and the soft part begins, but there's not like any wire in, in there or anything. So if I were to bend it, I would damage her arm I think so so she's holding it with one hand she's okay and here she is let's see she's kind of there we go she's kind of like I don't know like her head's tilted a little bit I guess you could say but these are really pretty dolls if you're into wedding dolls I could see how having all of these dolls together would be a really pretty display whoops uh oh, she dropped it. Um, her earrings are kind of odd, sticking out. I do like her necklace. At least it was on already. And um, yeah, there you go. Poof those out a little bit. Yeah, these dolls would take a while to get everything right in a display. You definitely would take some fiddling for sure. That's a beautiful dress, really pretty doll. She's got a very pretty face. I know she doesn't look like Diana, but she's just giving me Diana feels, you know. All right, let, let me get the other dolls out. We'll get all four of them together. Uh, great grandmother, grandmother, mother, daughter, and see what they all look like together. So here's our 1990s bride. I thought I would put her right next to the 1900s so you could see how similar their dresses are. I mean, really very little difference. And I mean, I get the concept. I think the concept is interesting where they're basically supposed to be the same dress, but I don't know. Now that I see them all together, I mean, I feel a little bit like that was off the mark a bit. I mean, at least here with the 1960s, you can see it's the same dress, but there's some difference here. But here's the 1930s, the top here and the sleeves are like exactly like hers. The 1990s, they changed the a little bit with, it got the little bit different there neckline. But the waistline is exactly the same for all the dresses. Um, yeah, I mean, they're beautiful, but I will be finding homes for these dolls. Not exactly sure what that home's going to be. If I were to ship these out, I don't have the original shipping boxes and these are big dolls. They don't, they're not gonna fit in any kind of easy to find box. Um, and the boxes that I, that I just showed you where I took them out of the box, I don't feel like those are strong enough to handle being shipped in. You know, these are porcelain, partially porcelain dolls. So I think I might be giving these away locally. 
um, we'll see. I will fill you in on that. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But the shipping for these dolls probably would cost more than the dolls are worth. Um, the faces, I think, are really beautiful. Like I said, here she's got brown eyes. They're all inset eyes. Um, this one's looking up. This one's looking down a little bit. This one, her head's kind of to the side a little bit. This one's looking to the side. So that's kind of interesting, but you can't move these dolls at all. You can, there's zero articulation. So out of all of these, let me know which one you like the best in the comments down below. And I will fill you in on where they end up at some point in time. <laughs> but yeah, to really display these well together, you would need quite a bit of space because um, they need to be poofed out. Everything needs to be poofed out. And you need to have plenty of room. You can see they barely fit on this little... This is my little table I use for videos and stuff. So yeah, so they will be they will be heading out. They will be going walking down the aisle, <laughs> finding a home someplace else. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye bye. <laughs>